Does he in fact the pure Lord in your heart, the pure consciousness divine, he neither creates a sense of agency in you that I am the doer, nor does he create actions, because actions are possible only when you have got desires, where desires are not, I in deep sleep there are no actions. In the Lord, the infinite perfect, there are no desires and therefore there is no action. I have not created them. Just as in the dream, the dreamer works, goes through the gamut of all emotions in the dream. Is the waker responsible for it? But if the waker was not there, there could have been no dreamer. The vehicle in the higher state of consciousness, himself identified with the dream state, played the part of I am the dreamer and suffered all the sorrows of the dream. When this identification has ended, the dreamer in the dream rolls away and the dreamer realizes that I am the waker. Having become the waker, would you accuse yourself that why the hell have I, have you made that dream? No, you understand. The waker has never done it. But I, forgetting my waking state, identified with my thoughts, and there I became the dream. This way, if you analyze it yourself in the quietude of your own study, it will understand how the higher state of consciousness has never created sense of agency or actions. Then why am I doing it? Swabhavastu pravartade. It is because of the compulsion of the vasana that you are doing it. Just as the dream came because of the suppressions and presence of the waking state. Those suppressions are coming out and expressing itself in the dream state. Similarly, the past, inhibitions in you, the footprints of the past, the tendencies you have cultivated and created in the past are getting exhausted. And that is called the karma. And he is not the karma bhala. He is not giving you the result of the karma. The karma's result comes in the, according to the quality of the karma done. And he is not responsible for it. Uh,